Good evening. Here is my much anticipated evening skincare routine. I do what is called the 10 step Korean skincare method. You can make it as labor intensive as you want, or you can make it as simple as you want. Disclaimer, I have extremely dry, extremely sensitive skin. So all of these products that you see here, I have discovered that these work the best for me. There are a lot of Korean, Japanese, even Western products now that are doing double duty, even in some cases, triple duties. I like the tried and true seven skin method, double cleansing. I find this very therapeutic. I love it. It's a wind down. It makes me feel good. I've noticed that my skin is glowing. It's amazing. And I have been doing this, it's been about eight or nine months. The first step is gonna be your oil cleanser. And you can either use an actual like oil pump, you can use coconut oil, you can use olive oil, whatever oil your skin likes. I prefer the cleansing balms or the cleansing sherbets. My two favorites, and I've tried several and I just keep going back. I really love the Botanic Farm Grain Ferment. This is a cleansing sherbet. I actually, just polished it off and I switch back and forth. Whenever I'm done with this, I go to my Hamish. The Hamish is actually really reasonably priced, like it hovers around $20, give or take, depending on where you get it from. And all of these products that I have, I will link below in the description bar. You open it up and there's a little spatula so that way you don't have to contaminate your product. And what I do is I take like a chunk of it out and then I kind of rub it into my hands, all over my face, my neck, and my chest. It really breaks up the makeup, and then you're gonna add some warm water to it, and it like emulsifies it. It like turns it white, and it's just such this like gratifying feeling. It's so hard to explain. I know I'm a weirdo. I just love my skincare. Anyhow, and this will break up, both of these break up the most stubborn, waterproof, stay all day, lipstick, eyeliner, mascara. This will take it off. And the principle behind oil cleansing is like dissolves like. So all of your oil-based makeup and grime and just soot and dirt and just pollutants from the environment that are clinging to your face, this is going to remove all of that. You're gonna go in with a water-based cleanser, which mine are in the shower and also by my sink. I will post pictures of them right here. Breakdown. Oil cleanse, foam cleanse, exfoliate if you're gonna exfoliate, if it's that night. You're gonna use your skin or toner to hydrate and rebalance your pH. You're gonna wanna do that as quickly as possible. You're gonna do an essence. You're gonna do your serums slash ampules, sheet mask night cream, lotion, and in the morning, sunscreen. And then also sleeping packs, regular masks, if it's your night to do a mask. So you can mix and match and play and you don't have to do all of these steps. You can just ease yourself in by like adding a serum or adding the seven skin method because it literally just takes like 60 seconds because you don't have to wait for each layer to dry. You just pop, pop, pop. So I'm gonna show you this in action. Let's see, but I'm gonna toss my hair up. And I have these little baby hairs. They are so annoying. Look at these little bastards. So I'm probably gonna put on like a hair band to keep all of these things out of my face. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cleanse in there and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you my process. All right guys, let's get naked. I'm back and I've cleansed and I've showered and I have body bombed and all of that. I don't want to waste much time. This is my orange blossom water. I just put it in one of these bottles. This is just coconut water. Some rose water. This is something that I have made myself and I, I just repurposed one of my old lotion bottles. This is a fermented rice water that I made myself. You just put a few drops on. You just pat it right into your skin. It sounds, it sounds really weird and it'll take a while to get used to, but after a couple of days, it's just like, you don't even realize you're doing it. And I like to put a little bit, there are certain products that you can get around your eye, certain ones you cannot. But the ones that I make myself have such a 
uh, neutral pH that you can get those around your eyes. So I take a little bit on my pinky or my ring finger because your ring finger is the weakest and your pinky finger is like the second weakest. And I just pat a little bit. My skin is like sucking this up. I feel like this is packed with nutrients and such wonderful hydration. And I like to pat it around the nose because it gets kind of red. And I think I'm gonna do one more small layer of that just because I really love this stuff. Now I'm gonna take my Mario Badescu and I'm just gonna give it a little spritz. I'm gonna go in with my Skin Food Peach Sake because I love me some fermented stuff. I can't stop. And you can see it's just sucking it in. Like I'm not waiting really any time in between each layer. Myzon right here, this is the Intensive Skin Barrier Toner, the Deep Moisture, and this is the one that looks like really thick but turns right into liquid. And this is really all you need, just four or five drops. Since this is the Intensive Moisture, I really like to kind of pat this around my eye area. I'm going to use the Pyeongkang Yul right now, and this is the Essence Toner. There are several products now that have um, dual purposes, and this is one. This is an Essence toner so this would be great for say it don't spray it for someone who had oily skin and also someone who didn't want to dick around with their skin all the time i do the wamisa oh i love this stuff i'm telling you go get this now and this has such an herbal licorice almost scent but not gross licorice because i don't like it i can already feel my skin just drinking this up. This Earth's Recipe Energy Boosting Toner, this is my newest one. I've really, really taken to it. This is great. The clears, and this kind of use this towards the end of my routine. This really helps to prepare your skin. And I'm almost out of my baby. But it's so wonderful. And I try to limit myself to one layer of it. It does such phenomenal things for your skin and you don't have to go out and buy all this by all means as you run out of certain products like as you run out of a toner just grab one of these and replace it as you run out of a serum grab one if you don't have a serum but you want to add one grab one of these that I recommend there are also websites that will kind of curate items based on what your skin type is and a lot of these that I'm using yes they're hydrating but they're so versatile like the Wamisa, the Pyeongkang Yul, the Claire's, the Peach Sake is actually really great this Maison Essence that's like the opposite it looks like water but then as you rub it in it becomes like thicker so it's the opposite of the Maison Toner now I am at the end of this H2O Plus Beauty this is the Infinity Refining essence my husband calls this slappy face this is my other baby it's like children like how are you supposed to pick this is the hot labo this is the goku jin lotion light and i am i apologize i can't read korean for shit so i'm sure i'm butchering a lot of this so please don't judge me i'm just a white midwestern girl trying to get some good skin and I always accidentally get too much of this. You literally need like two or three drops. This is the buffet and it has matrixel and just, it has all kinds of wonderful, powerful nutrients that are brightening and hydrating and wonderful for every skin type. And you can use this AM and PM. So I use a few drops of this in the morning too. A little bit of that. And this is nice and slippery. And I'm just gonna press that into my skin. My Tony Moly. I've got the green tea, and this is literally made out of 100% pure green tea ferment extract, and I got that for a song. And the cherry blossom is for brightening, so I just basically do two pumps of each, and it turns very uh, watery. See? My Galactamites from CosRx. And I just do two. The Advanced Snail 96 Mucin, and this is my second or third bottle from CosRx. I love this, I use this on my kids too. And I'm gonna use three pumps of this at night because it's so repairing, I just love it. I'm gonna add the 100% plant-derived squalene, and I'm just gonna add 
about five drops. Rub that all together to blend it in. And then just, I'm gonna put on my caffeine solution by The Ordinary, two drops, my ring fingers. And I'm gonna tap that on. P.S. I'm doing all of this without a mirror. I just realized that. That's impressive. And I like to get the inner sockets of my eyes because they get so dry. Now I like to take this under my brow, pick up a little more product, and then go on top of the brow. With eye creams and eye serums, you want to take it all the way out to the temple. And I'll sometimes put a little bit on my lines right there. Then I am going to take my Yuri Pibu Cuckoo Maronza eye cream, and I'm going to take a little scoop of that and I am just basically going to insulate that. My eyes get really dehydrated and you do the same thing with this that you did with the serum. Take it all the way out to the temple and this will kind of sit on top for a second but trust me it will melt right into your skin. I am going to use one of my all-time favorite things, this is the Skin Energy Hyaluronic Acid 76 from Myzon at night, too. And I am going to go ahead and pump in the lactic acid tonight. This is thinner than the Arbutin, so I'm going to go ahead and put two drops. Bam. Bam. And tomorrow I'll use the retinoid, so I just go back and forth because my skin is so, so sensitive. And I like to use this with the hyaluronic acid. I feel like it's more moisturizing and I feel like it really sinks into my skin. The hyaluronic acid helps to pull it down so it will penetrate more layers of my skin. Mm. It's really sticky, but like in the best way, look at that. I usually make my own vitamin C, but this one I was to do a review on and I really liked it a lot. I like to use about five pumps. I love to take care of my skin. It's so therapeutic for me. It feels like I can just do something for myself. Something that is good for me. Something that feels good. I'm just extreme with it because I love it so much. But if you don't like it, that's fine. Like I said, scale it down. Just add one product, add two products. It's no big deal. Now I'm going to use my ampule. I know a lot of people use their eye cream after they do their serums and their ampule. I like to kind of wedge it in the middle or do it right before my serums or like right in the middle of my serums because I feel like it soaks in better. I don't have a bunch of layers on my under eye and then put my product on and it's not able to like get through fast enough. So I just take one dropper full and this is amazing guys. I highly, highly recommend this. And some of these products are gentle enough that I do put them on my lips because I have an obsession with lip balms and hydrating lips and I don't ever want my lips to be like icky gross. And I'm going to take a little bit of that because this is such an amazing serum and I am going to kind of pat it over my already sunk in eye cream. It's time for a sheet of mask. And I'm really not having like any specific issues. I'm not having like, I have a fucking hair. That's the issue I'm having right now. I'm not having any breakouts or any allergic reactions or any other skin conditions that, that might cause me to need something specific. So I'm just going to play the grab game and I'm going to reach in and grab one. I played grab bad. Sorry, my voice is starting to go. And I got the white rose. This is nature. I really like these and there's always a ton of essence in there. Do not throw that essence away. It's like fucking liquid gold. So whenever I open it up, I know this is like looks really weird, but I open it up over my chest so that way any extra essence in there will like fall onto my skin because it's so precious. I just don't want to waste any of it. So very gently open this. And if you have long nails, beware. I like to keep mine short because I have a thousand kids. I only really have three, but it feels like I have a thousand. And then you're just going to place that onto your skin like so. And then just seal it in there. I like to kind of press it around my eyes since it is a little more dehydrated in that area. And then I just take that essence, and there's tons of it you can see, and I just move it down my chest and pat it in. 
The directions are on each mask. They're all a little different. You don't want to leave it on too long because it's going to have the opposite effect and it will actually start to dry your skin off. So if, if your sheet mask starts getting dry, you need to take that bitch off immediately because it's going to soak up all the product that's on your face and dehydrate you. I'm going to go make some hot tea. I'll see you guys in 15. And it's been on for about 15 minutes and it's starting to kind of dry up in areas which I don't want. So I'm gonna pull that off and don't throw this away. Set it aside on a clean surface and in your pack, if you have a really good one, there's gonna be essence left. And be careful, don't spill. And you just take it. I'm gonna take that and then you are going to pat that all over. Oh. It's just such a treat every day. Look at that. That's plump, bouncy goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my lotions now. So I'm gonna take a little squeeze because honey is so good for your skin and I love this skin food. They have one in a jar, but I just really tend to go towards stuff with a pump or a squeeze because I don't like to like shove my fingers in there. Most Eastern products are coming with like little spatulas or little spoons that you can use. Okay, and I'm gonna take my cheap ass Looking insane. This has got to be a dupe for something. This has got to be a dupe for something. There are too many fantastic ingredients in this. Like, this is crazy. So, I'm just going to put like a few little droplets of that. And then I'm going to do about half a pump of this. I got it on sale and I just wanted to like try it. I will not repurchase this again. I do like the serum though. So, I'm going to give that a little shake. And then I'm going to do about four drops take my finger and I'm just gonna gently rub all that together and here on my creams I'm gonna show you a little trick coming up and we're just gonna do the same thing that we did with our other products my skin is just like what's up now I'm moving on to my creams I've really been into rosehip oil lately it smells wonderful. This is the Lana Lene Night Recovery Cream and this has rosehip oil and it also has lavender and evening primrose. I take kind of equal parts of my Mario Badescu Seaweed Night Cream and this Lana Lene and I just dip my pinky in the back of it and I get a little bit and do the same thing on the other. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. Give my Dermalogic Oil a little bit of a shake and I do five drops, sometimes six. We'll do six tonight. I'm also going to mix in this Alpha Arbutin. This is amazing for brightening your skin. So I'm going to put two drops of this on. My product's in this hand. I'm going to warm my hand up first because if you warm your hands up, a lot of people will like rub the products and they're like, warm it up in your hands. Well, your hands are absorbing so much of it. So I like to warm my hands. Usually I'll rub both of them together, but I kind of forgot because I'm sidetracked about and trying to think about what I'm going to say. <laughs> so warm your hand up and then rub it and it just melts. And see, it stays on top of your hands instead of sinking into it. Oh, it smells amazing. That lavender and that rose. It's so hydrating and so nice and thick. Now I am going to take another layer of eye cream. In this, I'm gonna use almost like an eye mask. I have not been getting a lot of sleep here recently. So I need some extra TLC. I'm gonna take some orange blossom water. My coconut water and my Mario Badescu. Back to our sheet mask that we took off. There's tons of stuff in here. 
So what I do is I squeeze it all out. Look at all of this that's left in here. This is crazy. I squeeze all of that out. <sighs> There's so much I don't even like on my legs. I put on my arms. Really anywhere that you want to be nice and silky smooth. And it just nourishes that skin beautifully. Well, I am going to use this is on because I can't stop using it. And I'm gonna apply it to my cheeks. Just a nice light layer to my cheeks and my forehead, my face. And now I'm gonna take this Botanic Farm uh, Black Soybean Milk Pudding Sleeping Pack. I'm gonna put this all over my neck and my chest. Oh, it smells so yummy. It's just such a unique smell. Normally this would not take me an hour to do but I was like talking the whole time and explaining things to you. So don't get discouraged and don't be like, oh, hell no. Just give it a roll. Do three steps. Do four steps. Add one. Number one, oil cleanse. Two, water-based slash foam cleanse. Three, exfoliate. Four, toner. Seven, skin. Five, essence. Six, serum. Seven, sheet mask. Eight, eye cream nine moisturizer and 10 sunscreen. Alter it to your liking. Omit and add, need my lip balm. Night night guys.